Hey, what's up? This is Laidback Luke, DJ and producer, and I'm back with another DJ Tips type of vlog. I don't know if you saw this post by DJ City this week, but it was hilarious and it really resonated to me. And make sure to check it out if you didn't see it because you wanna hear this with sound and it really does make sense. And I'm guilty for this. Not guilty when it comes to wrong timing of dropping a track in, but possibly guilty of mixing a little bit too fast. Oh, and before I forget, I'm in a lovely hotel room out here in Sao Paulo in Brazil. Big shout out to La Roque Club for last night for having me DJ around here. And so by seeing this DJ City post, I figured there were no real videos or any guidelines or rules out there as to how fast one should actually mix. And when doing so, when is the right time to mix in and out of a track? And so we'll stay in the DJ City open format game for a moment because there's very simple rules to that. And mind you, I'm not an open format DJ, but I've DJed open format parties. I've DJed back to back with open format DJs. And what I've always noticed is that within open format, the chorus is the holy grail of a track. You can't mix out before the chorus. You can't mix out during the chorus. And so in a, in a regular pop song, or even if it's hip hop, there's always verse, chorus, verse two, chorus, bridge, and then another chorus. So depending on this structure, you could choose to mix out after chorus number one. So you, you'd have verse and chorus. If the crowd is bored, you'd have a look. And then after the first chorus, you can mix out of that. Or if the crowd is enjoying that, play the second verse and then mix out of right after chorus two. And that's the basic guideline. If you check out that DJ City video, you'll see or you'll hear the DJ mixing out right before the chorus hits when everyone wants to sing along and really that's a no-go. So that's a good one to remember in the open format game or if you uh, want to just drop a pop song right in the middle of your set and it's not a prefab mashup, you really want to do this live. Keep in mind the chorus is something you don't want to mess with. And before I move on to where to exactly mix in dance music tracks, Make sure that you stick to the end because at the end I will give you a piece of mind-blowing advice that open format DJs could use but dance music DJs could use and maybe just DJs all around when it comes to fast mixing. All right, so in dance music, the structure originally is very simple. We used to have one minute of mixing in beats then the track would start and then we'd have one minute of mixing out beats. Now over the course of time, this time has shortened and shortened to where as a producer myself right now, I'm just making tracks with eight bar mixing in beats and obviously the, the streaming versions are way shorter than that. Generally where the track begins, that is break number one. Usually you drop it into break number one, then there will be a build and then there will be the actual drop going into break number two with another build and then drop number two. And usually after drop number two in dance music, you get a bit of extra for you to mix out of. And this is usually where I set my cue points. Break number one, maybe a build and then a drop. And so usually I have both drops in there and then either an intro or an outro, whereas just a few beats where you can uh, just hook onto, maybe loop into and then mix out of the track. Did you know I have an online DJ course with digital DJ tips? In this course, they have drained me from all my wisdom and from all my knowledge and experience throughout these decades that I'm DJing all in one course for you to learn from. If you're a beginner DJ, if you're an experienced DJ, this is basically all that I know in an online course. So make sure to check it out if you're interested in that. But in dance music, we can have some fun with this. Why not mix the break over an outro beat, for instance. Why not skip the whole break and go into the build as you mix out and then drop it into the new drop? But also over here in dance music, the fat of the track generally is the drop. Apart from, you know, really strong lead melodies and whatnot, but the drop is usually what the track is about and what people will know. Now, obviously in dance music, you have vocals as well. And then you just revert back to the open format rule where it's like the chorus above all. Okay, before I'll explain you what the, what the general rule is, what, what no one tells you or something that I use that is a bit of a secret that has never been 
explained. Make sure to give me a like right now if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy these DJ tips, and hit that subscribe button as well for more. All right, something that I tend to do is go from a buildup and then before the drop, drop it into another drop. If you decide to drop it into a different drop, then you have to make sure that this is a track that is more known, more energetic, and possibly more of a sing-along than the, than the drop from the track you're mixing out of. Let me give you an example here. So say popular track right now, right? Own Boss and Sevex track with that lead. And this drop, everyone knows, everyone is expecting. Now to come up with a bigger track and something that is known and maybe has a little bit more energy. Say if we drop it into... Pursuit of Happiness, Steve Aoki remix. Or let's go out all guns blazing because it needs to hit hard. How about we just drop it into Tremor? Could be sad that you didn't drop it into the original uh, drop of uh, that own boss track, but actually being so surprised and being so euphoric hearing a track that has more energy and is possibly more known will really help. And here's a warning. It, this could also backfire, say, if you are dropping it into something that is less known and has less energy and people will be surprised but not euphoric about it, then that's the wrong way to do it. And finally, finally, you could always play it safe. You could always say you're doing open format stuff. You could always just play it out. One verse, one chorus, one verse, one chorus, mixing it out or for dance music, mix through the intro beats, let the track do its work through the build-ups and uh, drop number one and drop number two and then mix it, mixing it out on the outro beats. It does not have to be as exciting as that. Make sure to keep my advice in the back of your mind and you'll always be safe. Or try and experiment with this, see what works for you, see what combos work for you and you will have a lot of fun and you'll have a pleasantly surprised dance floor. Now again, don't forget to check out my online DJ courses in the links below. Make sure to give me a like right now and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'll be making plenty more videos for you. And I can't wait to catch you back here for the next one. Until then, hell's up.